How's it going, everyone? Today we have the Babarusa Enclosure Habitat Speed Build, and we are doing the overview. Uh, I hope everyone's having a good uh, week, day, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, <laughs> so I guess we'll just dive right into it. This is a naturalistic, um, you know, kind of hole in the forest, hole in the woods, you know, Babarusa habitat enclosure um i just i kind of took the inspiration from when i did the african wild dog enclosure and like i said i, I had a basic image off google and i just kind of went for it i i kind of used the image for you know things here and there but i just kind of went for it and it kind of just ended up being this and you know i think uh i don't want to toot my own horn i don't i don't like you know saying oh i did a really good job doing this and that but I, I like these. I think I'm better at making more naturalistic enclosures than I am at the modern. Even though one of my favorite enclosures I've ever built is the modern African buffalo enclosure. But yeah, I think um, this is this actually turned out really well. And you know, uh, with the story, you know, kind of like as if I was trying to fit this in with uh, the African painted dog. It was kind of like, you know, it was once a forest. Uh, people cut down some trees here and there. And now uh, this is what's left. You know, there were some mud wallows and stuff, uh, like I did the Aldabra giant tortoise, if you remember. I kind of did the mud thing, except the Aldabra, they can't use the, the mud baths or the mud holes or whatever. And the Babarusas can. So I kind of hid the, whatever, the digging area, whatever it's called. You know what I'm talking about, the mud bath area. And I kind of hid it in the muddy water and created this uh, kind of like mud grotto and they actually used it and uh, the Babarusa as you saw used it in the cinematic I got and it's I think it's really cool how they're using the mud uh, bath thing in the water and you know kind of splashing around at the same time using the, the enrichment item I think uh, this is a, a way of using it I haven't seen yet on YouTube maybe someone's done it and I just haven't seen it yet but um, I don't know I, I feel like this is cool and I hope more people do it because I think it, it works really well making these mud wallows like this. So, yeah. And uh, yeah, pretty much there's just a bunch of downed trees and stuff um, that they can. So the, the idea, why so many downed trees, right? Why so many rocks, downed trees, you know, things that are sharp or edgy. Not, not in that sense. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Why, why there's so many down trees? Well, Babarusas have tusks. And if they're tusks, um, you guys should probably know this, but in case there's any younger people or maybe people that don't know animals too much that like to play this because it's like a sim game, they like building games or whatever, I'll just run it over. Babarusas have tusks that can, if they grow too long, can literally pierce into their skull when they get overgrown and kill them. So they constantly have to grind them up against hard or, you know, rough edges in nature, objects in nature. Uh, of course, in zoos, uh, keepers, I'm going to highlight on the Babarusas for a little bit because they're one of my favorite animals in the game. They're awesome. I think they nailed them. And they're super noisy, too. So actually, I'm not going to put too m I'm going to go a little bit further away so we can watch them like this. Actually, hold on. I'm going to put a cinematic on. On control. Sorry about this, guys. <laughs> Camera and cinematic. All right. So anyway, like I was saying, uh, Babarusas have these uh, really interesting curly tusks that, like in zoos, uh, keepers can pretty much just um, carve them down or whatever, so that you know they don't overgrow. But in the wild, you know. Uh, their natural behavior would be to grind them up and trim them themselves on objects like down trees or rocks. And that's why there's so many of them, uh, because in my mind, you know, a naturalistic enclosure puts in things uh, that would, the Babarusa would find in its natural environment to help it in its, you know, day to day routine in its life. So that's pretty much where uh, the inspiration comes from to put so many fallen trees in here compared to the amount in like the painted dog the african wild dog enclosure 
But yeah, I also put um, cricket noises in here, in case you couldn't tell, and some bird noises, and some leaves, because I, I don't know, I just never use them, and I wanted to, you know, use some sound fonts and use the, the leaves for once, for a change. And I think it turned out really, really cool. I, I don't have too much else to say. You guys probably watched some of the speed build. Uh, I'll exit out of this. Um, but yeah. Uh, any more highlights of things I wanted to mention? Um, pretty much I just used the, the trees here, as you guys probably saw. You know, just for a little bit. I don't want to overuse them. I've been overusing them, I feel like, a little bit. Um, pretty much custom fencing. You know, and uh, the I was originally going to use mesh, even though this is technically, it's chain link. I was going to originally use uh, one of the mesh pieces, but I couldn't get the curvature I wanted, so I did the old trick where you use the glass, like you guess on the, the speed level, you use the glass to make it uh, the chain link curved, so that's pretty cool. And then I just did custom wood, because I don't I don't like the pieces in between that connects the, the chain link. And I wanted I wanted to do the naturalistic, so, you know, as um, the, the least, the less metal, the better, in my opinion. More natural you know, biodegradable stuff. Um, oh yeah, and the little sign I made out of bamboo. thought this was cool. They are Asian. So, thought that was pretty cool. And yeah. That's pretty much all I have to say. I don't know. Um, yeah, this will be on the Steam Workshop. Hopefully it will. I'll test it out with this. I think it'll work, yeah. I think it'll work. And uh, I really hope you guys enjoy it, too. Yeah, so... With that being said, old country's the best country. Have a good day, y'all. Huh?